the next is let us talk something about the subdural hematoma when we talk about sdh or subdural hematoma what is it all about it is the collection it is the collection between the dura and arachnoid so you have to understand it is the damage to the bridging cortical vessels bridging cortical vessels which are responsible here now why this happens you need to understand so if you take this as skull and you have to understand that skull and dura they are totally fused together so skull and dura so skull plus dura is fused and then you have the arachnoid here so suppose this is the arachnoid this is arachnoid and in between the arachnoid and the dura arachnoid and the dura you have some vessels and these are known as bridging cortical vessels so whenever there is impact whenever there is impact the arachnoid bring being freely mobile arachnoid being freely mobile what happens it moves so try to understand it moves in front but dura doesn't so there is a strain and this strain causes avulsion it's just like take this hand to be dura this hand to be arachnoid the dura doesn't move but arachnoid moves and there is a strain over the bridging cortical vessels but see this strain will be more severe in case of elderly where there is shrinkage of the brain so already there is tension on the bridging cortical vessels in kids the skull is bigger the brain is developing and in alcoholics again there is atrophy so surgery is not the mainstay of the treatment why because these patients cannot tolerate anesthesia they are all poor candidates for surgery so conservative management is the first line elderly and alcoholics are prone i have already told you that if this is the brain and since there is cerebral atrophy in case of uh, alcoholics and elderly so already there is pre existing tension and therefore a small shake or a trivial fall is sufficient to damage these vessels chronic sdh is as associated with vascularized uh, membrane formation and lucid interval are rare lucid interval in any injury is always due to a superimposed concussion now this is a low impact trauma and hence this is sufficient falling from a chair of an 80 year old is sufficient to cause bridging cortical vessel rupture but it is not sufficient to impose a, a concussion so lucid interval will not be seen here when we talk about chronic sdh do you know what happens an uh, old sdh gets surrounded by a special membrane and this special membrane is known as a vascular membrane do you know the vascular membrane the vascular membrane surrounds is seen in more than 2 weeks old sdh and this is what is chronic sdh now do you know someone who has actually suffered an injury suppose alcoholics if you talk or elderly if you talk they are prone to injury they are prone to fall so if there is a slight injury or you can say a trivial trauma the trivial trauma will cause this time rupture of rupture of vascular membrane and vascular membrane if it ruptures there will be fresh bleeding and if there is fresh bleeding there will be expansion of the hematoma and if there is expansion of hematoma this is going to lead to what students yes there will be acute symptoms so acute symptoms acute symptoms on chronic on chronic this is what is known as acute on chronic so acute symptoms on chronic this is what is known as acute on chronic so chronic sdh is associated with a long standing sdh acute on chronic sdh is associated with rupture of bridging cortical vessels so a is wrong in this case subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from prep ladder